Hi, my name is Akande Jacob Ozove and I'm a technical consulting engineer for Cisco Tax Server Virtualization Team. In this video, I describe how to configure LDAP on UCS Central. For this demonstration, this is the setup. An instance of Windows Server 2016 and a UCS Central Appliance Software version 2.01s. Two users, test user 1 and test user 2, are configured as members of the IT group within the video test.local domain in Windows Active Directory environment. To manage a UCS central appliance, both users will use LDAP services to authenticate, granting them access to UCS central. The configuration is done on both the Windows server side and on UCS central. The Microsoft Active Directory and LDAP services have been pre configured and are operational. Therefore, this video will focus on setting up UCS Central. For this, access the UCS Central web interface. Click the system configuration icon on the top right corner and choose authentication. The UCS Central authentication manager is displayed. In the navigation pane, ensure that the LDAP is selected. Under the basic tab, populate the fields accordingly. The database connection timeout field represents the duration for which the UCS Central waits for a response from the LDAP server before labeling it as down. You can leave this as the default value of 30 seconds. For the filter value, use SAM account name equals dollar sign user ID, where the user ID is the username to enter in the Cisco UCS login screen. The filter field is used by UCS Central to determine if the username provided on the login screen is in Active Directory. As base DN, I have used video test.local written as dc equals video test, comma dc equals local. Always check that there are no extra characters when imputing your base DN and bind DN values. Remember that spaces count as readable characters. Leave the default attribute value of Cisco AV pair and click on Providers. Add an LDAP provider by selecting the addition icon and impute the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of your LDAP server. Under the Basic tab, choose the Microsoft Active Directory radio button. For the database connection timeout, filter, and base DN fields, use the same values configured in the previous Basic tab as shown. Leave the attribute field blank. In the bind DN field, impute a bind DN. This can be any user configured on Windows Active Directory, but in this lab, it is the administrator after the syntax. CN equals administrator, comma CN equals user, comma DC equals video test, comma DC equals local. Leave the SSL button set to disabled as secure LDAP is out of the scope of this demonstration, and in the port field, accept the 389 defaults. For passwords, type the password of the bind DN administrator account configured in Active Directory. Confirm the password. While still within the Provider tab, click the Group Rules. On this page, enable LDAP Group Authorization and LDAP Group Recursion. Group Recursion, if enabled, allows the system to continue the search down domain and groups level by level until it finds a user. If the group recursion is disabled, it limits UCS Central to a search of the first level, even if the search does not locate a qualified user. Accept the defaults for the LDAP group target attribute field. Now click the Groups tab. Add an LDAP provider group by selecting the addition icon. Name the group. Click on the addition icon to the right, choose your LDAP provider listed, and click on Select. This action will add your previously created LDAP provider to the new LDAP provider group. Next, select group maps. To create an LDAP provider group map DN instance on UCS Central, click on the addition icon and fill in the group DN. The group DN value requested in this step maps to the distinguished name for the IT group created in Active Directory. The group DN value entered in UCS Central must match exactly with the group DN value in Active Directory server. To find the group DN, go to the command line interface of the Windows Server instance running Active Directory and type the following command ds query space group space dash name space the name of the group whose DN you need to know, in this case IT. This displays the group DN CN equals IT. 
comma cn equals users comma dc equals video test comma dc equals local copy the output and paste into the ldap group dn field in ucs central click on the addition icon under the rows tab and in the rows table choose read only since for this lab the test users should not have admin privileges click select as a final step, in the navigation pane, select authentication domains. Add an authentication domain. Name the domain. For this lab, I have used video test.local. Choose LDAP as the realm. From the provider group drop down list, select the previously configured LDAP provider group. Click on save. LDAP has been successfully configured on UCS Central. To verify this, attempt login to UCS Central using one of the configured user accounts. Notice that in the login page, I now have the ability to select the video test the local authentication domain. Select your domain and proceed to login. Test user 1 login is successful. Thanks for watching.